the little one out. We can just clean this one. Lay this guy up. See if Bubba will do a trick on this one. We're not going to skin this one. We're actually going to take the skin and the meat off. One shot. I'm open. Right down the rear bones. This is a medium sized ones. Just like that. And then we'll take our our flexible bubba. And these are of a knife. Grab it. That's, see, that's nice. There you go. We got real good control. Love the thumb, thumbprint in it. All done. Quick, easy. This one will be an easy trim job. Wow, right, look at that. Usually you don't see a lot of them in the uh, in the small ones, but there's a, they're pretty in there entwined in the meat, so you gotta really dig them out. <laughs> it is kind of gross, but they're good eating. So, you can see the color difference just in the size from one to the other. Actually, this one's a male. It has sperm sacs. I didn't see what that other one was. the armor pleating. Right off the tail. And all them scales, that's why you gotta have a stiff blade. Use a regular, even a regular fillet knife or something that's not stiff. They're gonna chew you up, even on the small ones. much knife for this. I tell you what, don't work good for tuna. Blowing out a big old blue fin or you know cutting up cutting up a sword. I think they'll work they'll work fine. See what other kind of varieties of them we got. It's work, you know, take your time, you work back. Yes, they take time. These are not easy. You know, we used to have them, get them done pretty quick. But you know, the old old boy still got it. Not them. Uh, not a lot of meat left on them bones. That's for sure.
You know, like I said, head and head, scales and guts, and you ain't got a lot of lot to work with. And I'll tell you what, you don't want to eat a drunk fish with, with any black meat still in it. That stuff's gross. But nice white veal looking meat when you take it all out. So there you go. You got two ways to clean the drum fish. You got the bigger one where you take all the take the skin back and then uh and then take the meat out. Or with the little ones you can just cut the whole the whole side out. So as always, hanging with heavies brought to you by Boatloans.com. For all your marine financing needs, please visit Boatloans.com. Welcome back to Hanging with Heavy, guys. Today we were doing some drum fish cleaning. Drum fish show up in Delaware Bay off the coast of New Jersey, Delaware. Uh, they usually show up sometime in April, April, May, June, into July. It can be really good fishing for them. Uh, the bite has turned on. We've got a couple to clean today. we got one probably that's in about the 60-pound range and then a pup. So there's two different styles that we use. Uh, for cleaning them the bigger ones we always peel back the skin first and then take the meat off with the smaller ones we can take the meat and the skin off and then skin them and as always we trim them uh, you know you got to take all that dark meat out of the drum the meat if you get all nice white meat it looks just like uh, like veal or chicken or anything like that but if you get some of that dark meat in there oh they uh, they definitely have a taste to them if they got the dark meat in them so as always Hanging with Heavies brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, please visit BoatLoans.com.